Welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. And I am Matt. Today, we are looking at part one of a story called The Town Mouse and the Country Mouse. Okay, do you like mice? So, mice is the plural of mouse,、mm -hmm. right? So, we never say mouses, it's always mice. You have two mice,、yeah. three mice. That's right.、Mm -hmm. So, do you like mice? No, I don't like mice. <laughs> don't like mice? No, because. They're so cute, though. They do look cute, but when you open a cupboard in the kitchen and a mouse、What? jumps out, jumps out at you? It's not that you won't like them after that.、Oh, it's never happened to me, so I guess not. We should also mention that, you know, in Chinese,、mm -hmm. there's just one word, lao shu, right? For、mm -hmm. what we say mouse and rat.、Mm -hmm. So, when you think of a mouse, you think of a smaller, little, fuzzy, cute little guy.、And、usually cute, looks cuter than what we would call a rat, which is bigger, has a long tail, usually a longer nose.、Mm -hmm. And so, I think, at least in the West, people hate rats, but usually aren't too bothered by mice. Right. Mice are a lot cuter than rats,、yeah. so I would definitely say I like mice. More than I like rats. Okay, you like them better. Yeah. So, it, like, one of my ideal pets would be a pet rat. Okay. They're so smart. Have you ever, like, you've never known somebody with a pet rat? Well, I have,、there's... you know, sometimes there's rats in my house here. <laughs> But those aren't pets. Well, they eat my food, so I'm kind of feeding them. So okay, so、like、you、cats. have them over for dinner? Yeah. Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> okay, why don't we get into the story, part one? Let's go. Once upon a time, a town mouse went to visit his cousin in the country. The country mouse was happy to see his cousin. He welcomed him into his home. Welcome back. Today we are looking at part one of the town mouse and the country mouse. So, as we can see from this title, we have two kinds of mice here.、Uh -huh. We have a town mouse and a country mouse. So, what's the difference between a mouse that's from the town and a mouse that's from the country? Well, a town is a place where people live, and usually you have many people living there together and doing things together.、Right. It's smaller than a city.、Mm -hmm. But it's certainly bigger than like a village or something you might find in the country. Right. So the country is an area where usually there are a lot of farms and people grow food and have animals. So there's lots of space. You might not live close to your neighbor, it might be very far to the next house.、And、there might not be much to do out、yeah. in the country, I... like movie theaters and shopping centers,、right. things like that, right?、Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's begin our story. Once upon a time. So, whenever you hear once upon a time, you know we're about to hear a story. Right. Okay, so once upon a time, a town mouse went to visit his cousin in the country. Okay, so he went to visit his cousin. So, a cousin is just a child of your aunt. Or uncle. In English,、mm -hmm. when you're talking about relatives, it's very simple, right? Compared to Chinese. So you have a, just a cousin, you don't have a special name for the cousin of your mother's side or your father's side. And the same thing with aunt or uncle.、Mm -hmm. You know, it's just aunt, uncle. And you don't have any special names for the ones that are on your mother's side or your father's side, things like that. So in English, it's quite simple. Your mother and father's brothers and sisters are your aunts and uncles, and their children are your cousins. Okay, so for example, you could say, My cousin is very funny. All right, continuing with our story, the country mouse was happy to see his cousin. He welcomed him into his home. 
Okay, so he's happy that his cousin has come to visit him. So he welcomes his cousin. Uh huh. Okay. So to welcome is to greet someone in a very nice way. Usually, when someone is coming to visit somewhere or going somewhere for the first time, they are welcomed. So it's when you say, you know, please come into my home. I'm happy for you to be here. That's how you welcome someone. Sure, have a cup of coffee, or maybe some tea, or some iced tea. Have a seat.、Mm -hmm. That's how you welcome somebody to your home. Right, and you might also see signs that say like "Welcome to somewhere" when you arrive at an airport. Right, or even when you're driving from one place to another, there might be a sign letting you know that you're in a new place by saying "Welcome." To Taipei. Yeah, they're letting you know that they're happy that you are here, so you are welcome to be here,、mm -hmm. right? Okay, why don't we take a short break and we'll be right back. The country mouse offered his cousin something to eat. He only had beans with bacon, cheese, and bread. When the town mouse saw the food, he turned up his nose. The town mouse said, "How can you put up with this kind of food? But then you can't expect anything better in the country." Hello, welcome back, everybody. So before the break, we have a town mouse. Who went to go visit his cousin, who lives in the country, and when he went to visit him in the country, the country mouse was very welcoming. He welcomed his cousin from the town to his house, and I guess he was happy to see him. Yeah, it sounds like he's happy to have his cousin come to his home. So he wants to welcome him very nicely and show him his home. I wonder if he had an invitation, or if did he just show up? <laughs> well, I think as long as the country mouse was happy to welcome him, I don't think it matters if he was invited. Because I don't want my relatives to just show up at my house without an invitation. No, certainly not. That's just me. I don't know. Okay, let's continue the story. All right. The country mouse offered his cousin something to eat. Okay, so he's come to his home, and a lot of a lot of homes, when they have visitors, feel it's a must to give them something to eat. Yeah, especially he's been traveling for a while. He's probably hungry、mm -hmm. and ready to have something in his tummy.、Mm -hmm. Okay. He only had beans with bacon, cheese, and bread. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. I yeah, beans, bacon, cheese, and bread. That's a pretty good breakfast right there. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely would be happy if I were offered that food.、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, what does the word "offer" mean? So, to offer means to provide something for someone that they can either. Accept, say yes to,、mm -hmm. or reject, say no. I don't want this. So in this case, the country mouse is asking the city mouse, "Here is some food for you. Do you want to eat this?" He's offering this, so he's going to give it to him. So he could say, "No, thank you. I'm、mm -hmm. full. No, thank you. This looks weird."、Mm -hmm. Or he could be like, "All right, I'm starving. Let's、mm -hmm. let's let's eat." Okay, we have another vocabulary word, bean, and bean is a seed or a pod that contains seeds, and it comes from a climbing plant. And we eat this like a vegetable,、mm. right?、Um, so, for example, you could say, "I like to eat baked beans and toast for breakfast." Now, in the West,、mm -hmm. when we eat beans. Usually, we like to have them salty or、mm. savory. We don't eat sweet beans. No, no, like they do here in Taiwan. So when I first came to Taiwan and somebody gave me a dessert and it was sweet beans, 
I was a little bit shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't very happy about that. Mm -hmm. that. That's not a dessert that I want. No, I, when I first came, I often made the mistake of buying red bean paste desserts because I thought it was chocolate when I first looked oh. at it. But then I found out it was beans and I don't know, I just don't want beans for dessert. Yeah, well, you know, I'm kind of used to it now that I've lived in Taiwan for a long time now. But when I first got here, I just thought beans should be salty. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, so let's continue the story. When the town mouse saw the food, he turned up his nose. Mm. Turned up his nose. Turned so what does, that mean, what does that mean if you turn up your nose? So when you turn up your nose, you go, hmm, hmm. means that you are not accepting something or saying no to something because you think it's not good enough for you. Yeah. So the city mouse thinks the country mouse's food is not good enough for him, so he doesn't want it. Yeah, it's like kind of like low class, right? Mm -hmm. And you turn up your nose at something that's low class because you think you're from a higher class. Mm -hmm. right? So someone might turn up their nose at a fast food restaurant if they're used to eating, you know, expensive food. Yeah, at nice restaurants. Okay, the, continuing the story, the town mouse said, how can you put up with this kind of food? But then you can't expect anything better in the country. So he says, how can you put up with this kind of food? So to put up with something just means to tolerate it or to endure something. You, you just have to kind of like accept this kind of thing, mm -hmm. right? You put up with it. So he's surprised that he would put up with such maybe low class food, mm -hmm. right? That's right. And he also said you can't expect anything better in the country. Mm. So to expect is to think that something will probably happen or is likely to happen. Mm -hmm. So when he says you can't expect anything better, he means he doesn't think that in the country there's anything better than this food that you can find. Mm, so he right. thinks this food is probably just normal for, you know, all the mice in the country. Right. And he doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, he turns his nose up at it. Mm. All right, well, that's it for this part one of our story, but we'll see you next time when we get into part two. Okay. Once upon a time, a town mouse went to visit his cousin in the country. The country mouse was happy to see his cousin. He welcomed him into his home. The country mouse offered his cousin something to eat. He only had beans with bacon, cheese, and bread. When the town mouse saw the food, he turned up his nose. The town mouse said, How can you put up with this kind of food? But then you can't expect anything better in the country. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at these three key words. The first one is cousin. Cousin, a noun, a sister. My cousin Lisa and I used to play together every summer. Before, I and my sister Lisa would play together every summer. The next word is welcome. Welcome, a welcome noun, a welcoming. We welcome new members to join our team. We welcome new members to join our team. The next word is offer. Offer, offer, 动词，给予，提供。The school offered me a scholarship. 这间学校提供我奖学金。Scholarship 指的就是奖学金。最后一个单词 bean, bean， 名词，豆子。Mom added beans to the salad. 妈妈在沙拉中加入了豆子。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，Once upon a time. 从前，从前怎么样？常见于童话故事的开头。我们来看看这个例句 ：Once upon a time, there was a little village in the mountains. 
从前，从前有一个山里的小村庄。下一个文法 ，Somebody turns up one's nose， 某人不屑一顾，也可以说 turn one's nose up。后面可以用 at 来接受词，表示对什么嗤之以鼻。我们来看看这个例句 ：Judy turned her nose up at the cheap dress. Judy 对这件便宜的洋装不屑一顾。最后一个文法 ：put up with 加上名词，忍受、忍耐。put 的三态同形。我们来看看这个例句 ：We can't put up with the noise from the street. 我们受不了来自街道上的噪音。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见，拜拜。Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Okay, we're going to play Guess the Bear today. Matt, are you ready? I'm ready. Stephen, are you ready? Always ready. Oh well, let's get this started. Okay, our first word is an adverb. One word. Greg didn't go home, but went to a bookstore. Bear. Bear of sugar. Cindy added honey to her tea. Instead, Instead. Ooh, Instead. point goes to Stephen. Greg didn't go home, but went to a bookstore. Instead, instead of sugar, Cindy added honey to her tea. Matt, don't worry, you can you can get a point. Okay. This next one is a noun, and it is one word. Okay. A bear from the window caught Helen's attention. The scared kitten didn't dare make any sudden bears. Movement. Ooh, producer, who do we give it to? We'll give it to we'll give it to Matt. Okay, a <laughs>、uh, movement from the window caught Helen's attention. The scared kitten didn't dare make any sudden movements. Okay, so we're one one. Okay, but this one is going to be two words. So whoever gets this one will win. It is a phrase. This isn't my pot bear bear, but it'll do. Taipei one oh one is many tourists. A tr- tourist's attraction, bear bear. Can you do that again? <laughs> This isn't my pot, bear bear, but it'll do. Taipei one hundred one is many tourists' attraction, bear bear. By default? Ooh, no. no.、Um, can you say the first sentence one more time? But like pot top.、Uh, say the first sentence again, but say it as if you would use that word. <clears throat> This isn't my pot, bear bear. But it'll do. Per se. Nope.、Uh, Taipei one hundred and one is many tourists' attraction. Bear, bear. By uh. Kind of like, like, auto- like automatically. It's like <laughs> yes. By by.、Uh, top spot. I don't know. This、uh, is not. This is not. If this is not go my to. Spot, I'm calling、uh, it. What is it? Of choice.、Oh. This isn't my pot of choice, but it'll do. Taipei one hundred and one is many tourists' attractions of choice. Tourist attraction of choice. I think a lot of that was because we didn't have it. Excuse me, I'm doing a very great job hosting. Okay. okay.